A little all havoc here. All right, so we're going to continue to build on the rover roller. I like the, the term roller. We're going to continue to build on the roller and uh, keep pushing for. Hey, missed. Missed again. Come on now. There we go. All right, so we're going to continue to work on it and uh, progress further into it today. Um, some comments from the last episode. Uh, guys, keep keep up with the comments. Appreciate it. Um, is about the greebles and covering up this turret. So that is the plan. I want to... Let's look at this real quick. So... The turret right now can rotate. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Speaking of, I can control the turret too. Um, turret controller. I just did that. Yep. I hate it when I do that. Um, which right side up? That way. Okay. Mm, I want it higher. Yeah. That was weird. It double clicked. I don't know where I placed another one. Oh. That's funny. Alright. Okay. So, I'm going to throw this bad memory jammer down. Don't need you. Okay. So we can go ahead and hop in here. Turret controller. Let's see here. Um, okay. Making sure here. All right, good to go. All right, um, we need to get yeah, I got it right, and that's it. Okay, so now we come in here, go G. Uh, let's put it to here, I guess, right now. And control. I can't. I can't look over. Um, all right, hold on. So for now, we're going to throw a camera up on here. Stop. Okay, let's try that now. It's okay. Turret controller. Sign a camera. Top mounted camera. That'll work. Okay, so now we should be able to come over here to hit five. Oh, turret locks on. Uh, Uh, How's a rotor lock, right? Okay. So now we hit five. It's got some weight to it. I'm fine with that. I think we're going to need to add some gyro to it. Okay, so if we come out of here, all right. Cool. So, I like it. So now I need to give it some, some protective covers. Uh, the other thing I wanted to check while we were doing that was, nope, nope, okay, icon. Whew. 
they're about to have a bad day. No, they're passing by, not coming at us. Cool. I thought they were coming at us. I want to check and see. That's not what I wanted. Thank you. Increase rotor displacement and decrease rotor displacement. All right, so that's now on the cab. I wonder if I could set that somehow to just be a min-max value on under like an invent controller. Let's try that. Go ahead and throw another one in just to... Okay, so you, sir. I'll just pick one of them. It doesn't matter which one. Okay. Event controller, this one. Um, rotor displace. Okay. Um... Let's see, connector connected, angled, altituded. Connector ready, cockpit occupied. No. Grid speed change, landing gears locked. How about... Um, I thought there was one for like, uh, see, cockpit occupied, lock on off switch. Oh, that could work. Um, I just toggle a light on and off. Yes, I like that idea. Um, Go with this guy. Ah, oh, dag gum. Let's go with this guy. I'll put it. Hmm. What if we did? that and then put it here so the idea is is that one it's like right there in my face right so if we're inside here it's that light right there Okay, and then we're going to set that to be straight up red. Like that. Okay. So in theory, um, event controller, rotor displace. Um, so block switch on off, right? Um, search which block. Light cannon. Okay. Add block. Um, available blocks. Wait, did that work? Yes. Now action, setup action on this. No, nope, it's not going to work. Hmm. 
Hmm. Oh, we can give it a shot and see what happens. So everything should be good. Block switch to on off. Okay. So G. Toggle block on off. Well, it works kind of. <laughs> um, I'm sure there's an easier way to do this. So I can use two timer blocks. Uh, one is for the up and one is for the down. I like the handled facing side out. I like that look better. Yeah, I like that better. Okay, so we can set one for like a repetitive and the other one's for the repetitive the other way. And because basically I want them to go all the way max and all the way max, right? So let's go to G. Let's get these off. Actually, we're going to leave this. Oops. So the light will still work. G timer. Oh, no. Okay, timer. Um, let's see. That's going to be Canon Displace. Oh, displace. Up. Oh. Okay. Uh, setup action. Um, do, 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 you, uh, increase rotor displacement and then trigger this again. All right. So trigger, 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 trigger. And then, oh, wait, 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 hold on. Oh, I wish I could move these because it's not messed up. So you hit stop, remove, ducker, 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 increase displacement, and trigger again. So it should go, it should just tick through. Okay, right? I can continue to tick after the fact. All right, so then this guy, oh, that's, we, we're just setting up the one, so that's good. All right. Okay, I thought the shimmy was from what I was doing, so. All right, so you, Canon, displays down. Okay. Uh, delay needs to be zero. Silent would be good too, so I need to go figure that out. Figure that out. Uh, so display up. <clears throat> Stop. Uh, displays down. And trigger. I think. So I want to make sure the other one's turned off, and then this goes. So if light is on, we want to go up. I think. I think that's kind of backwards, but let's let's figure it out. So event controller. Okay, so uh, based on the light, 
correct? Uh, block is switched on, search. It is the light, so set up actions. Remove, remove. So light is on, trigger. Light is off, trigger. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Let's watch the timer blocks in the corner. Not triggering. Okay, <clears throat> event controller. Block is switched on off, okay. Um, so the light block is what's toggled. All right, try adding the AND gate. Okay. Or is this start now? Okay. Let's go back to the light and try those changes and see if any of that made a difference. Nope. Turret's not moving either. Well, that's just baloney. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, that's one of the things I want to work on is that I can just hit one button and it will automatically displace the amount I wanted to, which is min-max. I think there's this would work. I'm missing something. Comment down below if you guys know what I'm missing. I I honestly think this should work. So this should just repeatedly just click, 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 versus me having to spam the button like 12 times each. All right. So rotor displacements where there it is. That's at max right now. Okay, that's what I want. Okay. So, um, in theory, I can armor plate this. Uh, heavy plate, where is it? There. Unable to place heavy plate. It's probably because there's no actual connected block there. So let's come back over to five. Because I still want to be able to see that to get into it. So then I should be able to do eight here. There it is. So I'll need to move this over. Uh, reverse, please. That'll work. Okay, so eight. So here's what I want to check is can I do that then this and will they will they interfere About to find out
Yes. Outstanding. Woohoo. All right. So that makes up that. That's a pretty huge, huge deal. Okay, so now I can greeble from this. I know that that plating will work and not interfere. So we can get in here and we can do some pretty cool stuff with that. Um, I just need to set up a toolbar just for these. Oh, actually, I wanted that one. Dope. Okay. Eight. And eight. There. Cool. Oh, it makes it so much better knowing that I'm going to be able to do that. Uh, so there's also a comment about elevation. Uh, this gun, if it's intended to shoot down, I'm already in a pretty bad position. But, but I have a trick up my sleeve that most tanks in the real world cannot do. I have pistons in the back. I can lower just the rear pistons to get the negligible downward angle that modern tanks have. I think it's like less than five degrees for down angle attack. I think some of them are maybe close to 10, but it's very, very minimal for depression angle of a turret. I can gain more than that just by <laughs> increasing my rear, by pushing the pistons down. If I really, really needed to, I could lower the suspension in the front as well. So the suspension goes through the up that way, and then the angle gets lifted that way. But for the most intense, most, almost all application is that, uh, yeah, we're going to be shooting level or up in the air. So the biggest weakness will quite literally be if something's behind us. So that's going to be the, my biggest uh, contention is making sure that it is protected in that way. Um, so for as for a fold away sheath, um, I did for a very brief moment had the idea of using this thing in a reversed way to where the turret would be pointed backwards and housed inside of a a case this way and it would swing around it would open up lift up and then turn around so the turret would have been pretty much next to the cockpit but i just decided against that so um so with that being said uh we want to go ahead and do this maximum effort left So that's as far left as we go, right? So, um, do I still put that door back in? Will it look right? Let's take a look here. Uh, it's large grid only. That's a small grid door. How are you going to look? Not going to work. Just not going to work. Why would you not fit there? What's impeding your placement? Is it these? Hmm. All right, let's try a different one. Don't want to use this one. Don't really want to use that one because 
how deep it is. All right, see what we got. So you will let me place that there, because that's the one. No, that's fine. Okay. So this is going to be your uh, point of entry. Okay. So now we need to greeble down, over, and around to here. Around the back side of this. To some extent, uh, let's go ahead and hit the magic reverse button on this. Cool. That's going to work. So can we get to there from here? Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, some uh, minor baby steps, but uh, steps that are needed to be taken in either case. So uh, can you wrap it up here? Thanks for being here. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. This is Havoc. Have fun and keep gaming.